Welcome to Reddit Packers. Don't forget to like and hit the subscribe button for more interesting videos. Let's jump to our today's video. I sued my boss because he fired me for wanting to attend a concert. Good afternoon everybody that stumbled on this post. First up, some backstory. During my gap year between studies I decided to work for Company N. Company N was run by a husband, Dave, and wife Karen, with their son and basically treated their staff like a small family. All was well for about two months, until I realized I had to ask for a day off since I wanted to attend the last Slayer concert the band would give in my country. There was about a month to go, so I sent an email asking for the day off and explaining why. This is where everything started to go downhill. I got a reply from the Karen and her reply was, weird. She stated that's not how asking for a day off works. I was confused to say the least. Not sure what to do I thought she wanted a more formal way of asking, so I wrote a formal email asking for the day off. She shot an email back I really had to think it through what I was doing. Which made even less sense to me. But I was hopeful since I never really got a specific, no. The next workday rolls around. I arrived, lock up my bike and headed inside ready for work. I immediately started looking for Dave to ask for answers. Before I could even open my mouth he asked me, do you still want to go to the concert? I didn't expect him to ask this so quickly answered, yes. The only thing he said back was, okay, take off your vest and you can go home. I was stunned, and while the words started to sink in I looked at my colleagues which were just preparing for opening. When it finally sank in anger flowed in. I am not a confrontal person so I simply took off my vest and gave it to Dave. Without a word I left and started biking home. When I got back home I told my mother what happened. We started sending emails for extra information and got very Karen-like emails back. After a couple emails which went basically nowhere, I looked up the laws for immediate dismissal. After reading up about it I learned that, in my country, somebody can only be immediately fired when caught stealing, frauding, the person isn't able to do the work or refusal to do the work. I did neither of these. A day or two later I met with my attorney and began the steps to sue Company N. I told my lawyer what happened in detail and he was very confident I was in my right and she was not. So after trading even more emails between the three of us we went to small claims. I came prepared in a suit with my attorney in tow. And Karen showed up, alone. I guess she assumed she won because she thought she was in her right. The trial began and I was as professional and objective as I could be, Karen did the same. Well, for about half of the trial. When she realized evidence was piling up against her she resorted to calling me a spoiled brat among other things I don't know the English translation for. I'm safe to say that was the point the judge ruled in my favor. As per usual I had to wait a month before I got the verdict black on white in the mail, but I won. It may have taken about six months from the moment I was told to go home to the point those six months of pay were transferred to my bank account. But it was 100% worth it. In the end I went to the concert. It was the most awesome and most profitable concert I have ever been to in my life. T.L. Doctor. Got fired without valid reason and sued the company for it. And I won. If there are any grammar errors, I'm terribly sorry, English isn't my first language. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more future updates.